Well, because this series is being recorded fairly early after Drupal's been released, we're not going to focus on extending Drupal with modules as much. There'll be more and more features added to Drupal by modules as time goes on. I'm going to highlight just one more in this series, and it's a module that's been around for a long time and has been ported to Drupal 8, and it's the Views Slideshow. What we want to do is for each hotel, we'll have a series of images. And if you've ever been to a hotel's website, every hotel has images, whether it be the inside of the room, the lobby, the outside of the hotel, the pool area, etc., etc. Well, we're going to create that. But we're going to make it so that when you're in a hotel node, the images show up in a block in a views slideshow. So we have a little bit of prep to do for this. The first step is to add a slides field to our hotel content type, repopulate our content type with Devel, and then add a views slideshow in a block region that is contextual by nature and brings in the images for the slideshow. So we're going to do this in two parts. We're going to set up our content type and install the module. And then in the next section, we'll create that view. All right, let's get view slideshow first. Head over to drupal.org slash project slash views underscore slideshow. Go ahead and install the Drupal 8 version of view slideshow. Click extend and install new module. Paste that in and install and enable. That's going to be all the way at the bottom. Go ahead and turn both views slideshows on. And you'll note that we've turned on view slideshow cycle. We're going to need to get a JavaScript a bit later on for that, but that's all right. We'll get that in a little bit. All right, let's set up our content type next. Click on structure, content types, hotels, and manage fields. This is going to be a simple slideshow field. And the way this is going to work is we'll set up the field, we'll add the slides, we'll hide them from the display in a node, and add a contextual block view so they show up in the block region instead. Click Add Field. This is going to be an image field. Call it Slides. Save and Continue. We're going to limit it to 10 slides. I think that's a pretty good number. Click Save. And we're not going to require this because maybe a particular hotel doesn't have slides. Scrolling down, we'll change the file directory to hotel-slides. Once again, making the minimum resolution 500 by 500 with a maximum upload size of 500 kilobytes. We'll enable the alt field and we'll make it required even though this is a slideshow. Click Save Settings. Let's update our content. Click on Configuration, Development, and Generate Content. Now, one word of caution, this is going to delete our Hotel Drupal node because we're going to tell it to delete all content in the hotel's content type and this is a good reminder to not put any real content into your website if you're going to use Devel. We'll generate 50 nodes, we'll go back a year, and we'll only have two words in the titles again, and click, put the delete all content in there, and click generate. And there we are. We deleted 51 nodes and created 50. If I go to content and click on this hotel, You'll notice now I have a whole bunch of slides for my slideshow. My map is working. Of course, it actually, it doesn't really work. Let's edit this one and put it back to Hotel Drupal just so we can have it. Click Edit. I'm going to change this to Hotel Drupal. We'll leave the summary, the body. We'll change the hotel website to HTTP Drupal.org. We'll leave the phone there, ah, but we will change the map. And again, that was 70 Murray Street, Darling Harbor, 2009, Primont, Australia. And if you want to go ahead and update that, pause the video and change it up. And then let's go ahead and put our video back in or whatever video you want. And you'll see now here's our slides 
with the alternate text and images as well. Save and keep published. And now Hotel Drupal is back. All right, so we don't want these slides showing up here in our content. Last step then is to manage display. Click on Structure, Content Types, Hotels, and Manage Display, and just drag the slides under Disabled, and click Save. Don't worry, we'll bring them back in another video. All right, so we've installed three modules that extend Drupal's core functionality. Admin Toolbar, which gives us that hover, hover, hover click in the Administration Toolbar. Views Slideshow, which we'll finish setting up later. And the Video Embed module, which allows us to embed a YouTube video and make it fully responsive right out of the box. As I've mentioned earlier, there are literally thousands upon thousands of modules that will add functionality and features to Drupal Core, making it the most flexible content management system in the world today.